Good one, good one. Oh, I almost got him. Ow, ow, he's actually biting me. <laughs> we caught each other at the same time. Damn, he got me good. Dragons do exist, but not in the way that you think. An old world family of lizards called the Agamids are often known as dragons in English. A good example of this are bearded dragons that are native to Australia. But the Agamid family consists of over 500 species worldwide. And in today's video, we are out in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, in order to search for one of the lesser known dragons of the world. So we're out here looking for dragons on the beach, both the Gamas and girdle lizards. And this place is pretty rocky and it's not the easiest to traverse by any means. So you've got to really keep a good eye out. These guys are incredibly fast and I have to be barefoot. If I use shoes, I keep on tripping and slipping. So I have to go full natural at this. And uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it's a lot of fun. Right there, there's a lizard right there. That is a big one. Okay. So these guys are really quick, so I'm going to have to be very fast and very smart about it. Hopefully I can chase him into a crevice and I can guide him out with my hands and grab him. That way it's a lot easier than actually trying to chase him because they're actually really fast and nimble over these rocks. So let's see if we can do this. Oh. All right, so I just put on my cap because of my hair is blowing all over the place, but I'm going to grab him right here quick. Got him. How cool was that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now, these guys are so fast, and they're much more adapted to this terrain than I am. So let me just go find a nice cool spot in the shade, and we can get some cool footage of this guy. Look at him. He's ready to get me already. How cool is that? So this right here is the southern Rokogama lizard, and these guys are the dragons of South Africa. And just like bearded dragons from Australia, these guys are agamids and they belong to the family of agamids. And the agamid family is made up of over 500 different species, which is a huge family of lizards. And most of those lizards are referred to in English as the dragon lizards. So that's really cool. And I really love these guys. Now I want you guys to take a look here. Look how cool that blue head is. Just on the neck there. Now a lot of these guys do this for two reasons. Reason number one is for mating. Obviously the more blue his head is, the more dominant he can look, and the more he can fend off the other males. These guys are very territorial, and they claim their territories quite aggressively. They first start off once they see the other males, they'll stand up nice and tall, and they'll even start doing push-ups to show off their strength and their size, and they show off that blue on their neck to show off like, hey man, I'm a big dude, this is my place, all the ladies here, are mine you want to back away and then the other males will either compete against them or they'll just be like okay dude it's all yours and they'll move on their own way and these guys have quite rough scales and you can see he's got a beautiful white line all the way down the back but I just want you to feel your Janet do you mind just scraping the back of his or just rubbing his back gently there feel how rough those scales wow. are they like spikes they are like just like a dragon and that is so cool and you can see he is ready to bite okay big guy okay I'm calm you're calm there you go he, he's not calm he just wants to bite me with everything you can see that that mouth you can see that tongue is ready to latch on and these guys have a pretty serious bite like check here if I hold him here I put my finger here and bang look at that he is chomping away and they don't let go easily you can see he is holding on pretty tight and he is chomping away and these guys can draw blood Let's see if i can get him to let go nope he wants to bite some more <laughs> come on big guy now this does hurt to an extent but to me it's not too bad but if you're another agama or another insect of any kind that bite will 100 percent draw blood it will probably crush the insect and that kind of just leads to their diet you think with a bite force of that much they would probably be eating large beetles and tackling all sorts of large insects but the truth is these guys eat pretty small little insects and invertebrates like ants and maybe small praying mantises and stuff so their diet's pretty plain for a bite that insane and you can see on my finger all the marks that this guy's just dealt to me right now so these guys have a pretty serious bite for their size and they have cute little claws as well I love taking a look at those tiny little claws there they are so cute but 
I think we're done with this dragon of today, but it's not over yet. There's still one more dragon left to find on this beach. I can't wait to show you guys. So let's put him back on the rocks and let's go out there and find him. Now the journey doesn't end there as there is one more species of lizard left that I think earns a title among the dragons. Next up on the list is a quarter lid lizard, which are heavily armored denizens of the rocks and one of the coolest lizard species of the world. And as I'm exploring prime girdle lizard habitat, I found one within minutes of searching. Oh, girdle lizard, girdle, oh, God, he's gone so fast. I almost got him, ow, ow, he's actually biting me. <laughs> Oh, I got him, but he's got me too. Ah. Oh, look at that. We caught each other at the same time. Damn, he got me good. All right, let me reposition in the shade here. We can talk about this guy. All right, so I just, ow, ow. I just moved him back into the shade here just so we can get a better shot of him. Otherwise, you might be a little too washed out in the sun. Ah, he's got me good, hey? Now, this right here, for those of you who don't know, is the Cape Girdle Lizard. And these guys are a part of the cordillet family. Ah, he's got me on a nerve there. <laughs> it's always when they pinch the edge of the skin like that. You can see he's got me so good. Look at that chicken. I'm wriggling him around. He's not even letting go. Oh, there you go. Oh, relief. <laughs> so now you can see these guys have a, a pretty decent bite. I will say it's not as bad as the Agama, but I think the way he got me there in such a tight spot all the way at the end of my skin really actually pinched quite a lot. So that was pretty sore. But now these guys are called girdle lizards for me. Don't want him to bite me again. For one main reason, and that's because of their tail. And this guy has actually lost his tail before. And you can tell by this dark piece here. So these guys will release their tail to protect themselves and that will grow back. Now what these guys do as a defense is because they live on these rocks here like this. And sometimes you see nice cracks on the rocks like that. And sometimes they're even bigger. And when they're basking in the sun, what happens is sometimes when they see a predator and they're like, Oh no, I got a getaway. They'll dart into a crevice, obviously a much bigger one than that. And they'll actually wrap themselves all the way around in their tail. You can see he will even bite his own tail. I won't let him do that. And that way, nothing can actually get to them. So very cool defense mechanism. And these guys are known as the armored lizards of South Africa. And how cool is that? And not just the armored lizard, but to me, these guys are the other dragons of South Africa. What a cool find. This might be a thumbnail. Oh, did you hear that crunch? And what a successful day of finding lizards. I really hope that you guys learned something new and enjoyed today's adventure. Dragons have always been creatures of legend, but that doesn't stop us from enjoying the little dragon-like creatures that do exist. If you guys have made it this far throughout the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more, be sure to click here or here.